I asked you all to provide me with your greatest ideas for fantastic and powerful Nightblade builds, and I would personally get the gear and test them. Now, after four solid hours of non-stop grinding for gear and making stupid purchases that I will never live to regret, I've done it. I've created 12 of your suggested builds, and today, they're going for a spin in Cyrodiil. Well, it's time to try on some new builds. The first build we're doing is a combination of three, because they only put in one set at a time, and I think that I need to do more than just the one set piece. So we're doing Troking, Unfathomable Darkness, and Ice Furnace. Three sets that just, you know, they just work beautifully together on a stamina night play, right? Go give this a run. Let's go give them a run for their money, huh? Teach these punks who's boss. Oh, wow, that weapon, our crit and weapon damage is absolutely incredible. I've never, our, our recovery is just, I should probably be on food. That's probably something I should do here. All right, let's go let's check out those, oh, the stats are perfect. Never seen better. Never seen better in my life. Like, look at me go. Look at me go. I don't, I don't even got to work for my kills. I don't got to do nothing. Now, this build, this build is only used by the professionals. I'm guaranteeing you that right now. Troll King, you are good, Troll King. You are, <laughs> oh, no. I am getting ganked and it hurts so bad. Oh, you want this? You want to die today, nerd? Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm being stunned. Whatever shall I do except just run for my life it's not a good day it's not a good day oh you guys wish you guys wish you were good you guys wish you were good you guys are good i don't know how adequate this is gonna be but uh i suppose if this is what they're asking me to do i gotta do it i mean i mean i got the ring of mara on here can i at least have a weapon i mean they didn't they didn't specify weapons so i suppose i i mean i suppose this also combines the hand-to-hand -hand combat like a man that, that'll work too huh we'll combine those two we'll combine those two it's just a bad, it's just a bad situation all around. I mean, I'm about to gank a nerd, and it's gonna hurt him real bad, yeah. Oh, come on, come on, uh, yeah, come on, come on, I'm Nick, come on. You guys got nothing on me, you guys got nothing on me. Come on, I gotta ring him out, I gotta ring him out, you guys better fight me. Yeah, no, no, not today, not today, sucker, come on. <laughs> huh, you were on the edge of your seat with fear of death, weren't you there? All right, the next top end build is of course, it's the bucket and broom. Oh, I've got way too much stam. Twenty-three thousand? You kidding me? I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna use through all that, man. We gotta make sure we plan this out strategically. That uh, that we're not stupid in our approach. I bet you wish that you guys knew what you were doing, but you don't, because you got sack. You got sack. Come on, <laughs> come on. All right, someone told me to be a healer. Now, uh, according to my healing skills. I have no healing skills. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go heal our teammates. We're gonna make sure our teammates have heals and the enemies die. Because light attacks gives heals like this. Heal, heal, you're dead, you're dead. I'm telling you right now, you're dead. You're dead by my hands. You wish you were alive, you wish you were alive. Oh yeah, that was totally me. 100% my kill. Actually, this is pretty overpowered. I was expecting this to be a lot less overpowered, but it seems like the kinetic damage uh, impulses of the, the pure personification of restoration seems to adequately the um the relevancy of the restoration attack damages guarantee you i'm gonna come in striking like an amazing man why didn't that oh oh yeah come on get that in get get that in get in there why can't i get are these guys all dead oh i got one of them i got one of them down he died right there respawned respawned and everything two seconds death the next build is Vampire Lord, Seducer, and Mighty Chudin. Unfortunately, and I barely have any weapon damage out of it. Heavy armor meta? I think so. Eat spell damage, nerd. Practically a magical build at this point. Right, time for the classic light attack spam. Oh, just, just annihilated. This build is overpowered. Look at this, go. My stamina is never running out. I, I, I full stamina 24 seven. Come on. You guys are scoundrels! You guys actually think you can go up against a heavy armor meta? Alright, so this next build is used by people who like to have life handed to them on a silver... No, ma make that a gold platter. It's Selene's 7th Legion and Hunting's Rage. No! No, you can't murder my friend! I'm running a cool build for cool kids! <laughs> You can't kill my friend. Now, if you look closely at this clip, you'll notice that I uh, I tease him a bit. I let him I let him get me down quite a bit to no health, and then I pull some man moves around, pull in the end cap. He can't do nothing. The bear gets the final strike. All you gotta do is make that kissy noise, and, and they come right on over. They come right on over. Track some everywhere back here. Come on over here. 
Oh, looked like a kissing noise attracted an Ebonheart guy. All right, all right, perfect, perfect. It just works out perfectly. All you gotta do is make little subtle noises and they just come right on over, they come over. Well, you know what they say, if you can't beat them, well, you join them. They apparently want me to use three cancerous sets. Viper, Veladrith, and... No, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Watch this. Chuck a knife in his face. Kill him dead because he's disgraced. Come on. Get ready for the big boy leagues, Al the Merry Dominion. You're about to be absolutely... Oh, my goodness. It's too precious. It's too precious. <laughs> That's cute. Throw the knife. Go to stealth. Get the job. Make him die. Make him die. Oh no, Mr. Soggy Man. Are you about to get real hurt? Real hurt? Oh, ouch, it hurts. <sighs> That's what happens, kids. For our next set, they wanted me to use Twice Born Star, but with one boon, not two, because two boons are stupid with this set. Seducer, because clearly I need more Magicka on my build, as this is a Magicka-based uh, Stam Blade. Viper, and, and Oblivion. Viper and Oblivion, for some reason. All right, let's do it, come on. Oh no, they're gonna die, oh no. Oh no, you died. Oh no, it's so sad. All right, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, knife him, knife the guy, knife the guy. Oh, oh, come on, my Magicka is out of bounds. You, you are, you peasants. Do you not understand how perfect this build is? Come on, what do you do? What do you do with spawn in here? This guy's gonna die so fast. It's gonna be incredible. Oh no. Oh no, you, you didn't see you're gonna die. Oh no. You're gonna get Dawnbreaker. Oh no. Oh no, it's so bad. It's strategy. Strategy. Oh no. We did it, we did it. You and me, shock treatment, we did this. I'm unstoppable! <laughs> so now somebody wanted me to use one piece Mighty Chudin, one belt of Draugr Heritage and a Restoration Staff. And you know what, I'm going sharpen just to get that extra, you know, DPS in there, that, that high up there stuff, that good stuff right there. Oh, my resistance is looking snazzy today, as usual. Oh man, it's so good, so good. Set up for destruction. I mean, I knew this build is OP, but that OP? A lot of little light attacks there. 87, 83, 83, come on, give me a crit, give me a crit, give me a crit. All right, I gotta take somebody up. Oh yeah, almost, almost got, oh yeah, come on, come on. You guys wish you were good? You guys wish you were good? You guys ain't good, you guys ain't good in this game, come on. You got five of them, you gotta get five of them to try and get me. So the next build we got here is uh, Hawkeye Moreg Tong, and he said only lethal arrow spam. All right, so we've got our one ability here. And it is set up for destruction. Like, so much destruction. Most of you know me as Kevduit. The other half know me as... Bird Kev. <laughs> Do you not know the power of Bird Kevduit? <laughs> ah, I, I need a new name. I need a new name. Hawk Do It. Kev Hawk. Hawkin... Hawkin Talkin. Hawk the Talk Rock Kev Do It. Come on, that's a good one. Leak the spam, that's all we do. That's all we do here at Kevduit. Lethal arrow spam all day. Lethal arrow spam, that's all you're getting today, nerd. Try to heal through it. Try, I dare you. I dare you. Oh, and it hits its mark. It hits its mark, people. Oh, this is not good. Not good. Fall back, people. Trap beast. Trap beast, fall back. Trap beast, fall back. Get on my way, rock. Get on my way, rock. This next build, this is a good one. This is a good one. You got, uh, you got slime craw. You got prisoner's rags and stidgets. Magicka based abilities increased by 20%. That's good because all of my all of my attacks are Magicka based at least above that 2,000 damage bracket, you know major brutality go go major brutality get him get him major brutality You guys are weaklings in comparison to my prisoners rags slow down You're going like 50 in a 30 zone nerd leave the Laro spam time. You can't hide from the spam Spam comes in a can, and that can is being served to your door. 